Hello to my Taurus family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the new year of 2022 for January 3rd through the 9th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and join me daily for my Quick Glance daily readings. Now, these are general readings, Taurus, so I'm picking up the Taurus energy in a general sense. So take what resonates and leave the rest. So let's take a look at your cards for the week ahead. First card... The Knave of Wands, Page of Wands. Justice. The Hanged Man. All right, Taurus. We'll get to your other cards in a little bit, but Taurus, so I'm picking up an energy from your cards this week where you're going to be really taking a look at things in a different way. You're going to, what I'm going to say is not be so aggressive, maybe, how you approach things, kind of just a more peaceful, calm sort of way. Picking up that you could possibly be going into a new direction, a new lifestyle, more easygoing. Again, really like following what your intuition is telling you. So let's take a look at each of your cards. And first you have... The Knave of Wands, better known as the Page of Wands. And I really like the fact that he's facing towards your future. So you could be getting some good news. Page of Wands is usually some exciting news coming in. Possibly I'm picking up like starting a new type of class, whether it's in person or online. There's something here that you've been accepted or there was space for you to be able to take advantage of this. So you're happy about this news. So certainly could be something that you're trying to incorporate into your lifestyle. The pages are very new energy, something fresh, something new, like at the beginning of something. So You might be headed into some kind of new class, new routine, something of that nature. And then you're getting the news that you've been accepted, you got in. It's something where I keep picking up like it was limited capacity and you're just getting in just like under the wire. Now for some Taurus individuals, this could be good news in regards to children around you. Pages are a very youthful energy, so it could be the birth of a child. Hearing the news in regards to that could be some sort of news pertaining to the younger people in your life. So if not children, maybe grandchildren, could be nieces, nephews. I'm picking up somebody got into like a college somewhere they had applied to. They're hearing the news that they got in. And they might be telling you about it, Taurus, or you might just be hearing this news. Okay, so let's pull a clarifying card for the Page of Wands. Wow, I love when this happens. Page of Wands here. See if we can get the focus. There we go. Came up again. So that's the universe just screaming. I meant already what I said. There's good news coming in. So I like that this kicks off the start of your reading. All right, next, justice. Now, the thing I like about the justice card in this deck is um, the numerical value is number eight instead of 11. It's switched up in this deck, so it changes your readings. And with this being number eight, there's abundance coming in. Certainly could have something to do with this good news from the Page of Wands. And the page is facing, they're facing each other. So it's almost like they're already communicating. There's good news coming in. Everything's working out. 
So the energy that I'm picking up from this is you've got good luck, good favor coming towards you. So the justice card can be in regards to like situations that might be arising where could go your way or not your way. And that could kind of tie into picking up the energy that some of the good news that some of you might be getting is in regards to be able to do something, maybe getting into that class that had limited capacity or being involved in something that had limited availability. Kind of ties in with the good news that you could be getting would be with this page of wands, one of abundance. So it's not about having to worry about the outcome. Very good indication here that things will work out as they were meant to be. So yeah, let's pull a clarifying card for justice. Six of Cups. A lot of give and take. Balance. Things are definitely going to be working out in your favor with this card here. It's kind of what goes around comes around kind of card. So definitely you're reaping the benefits of what you've done in the past. So if there's something that you've been wanting to do or something you applied for, you've got good energy here where you're going to get the result that you want. So definitely could be like, let's say you're wanting to buy a home. This is an example. There are several people interested. It's a good indication here that things are going to work out in your favor. So it's that kind of energy coming in this week for you, Taurus. All right, the hanged man. Now, the hanged man, uh, <laughs> with this card, it looks a little violent, almost forcing you, really being very stern here, Taurus, that you need to look at something in a different way. It's going to be a, it's going to be for your benefit, but that's pretty basic as to what the hangman does traditionally. You usually see. A fellow upside down, you know, tied to a tree, you see him hanging upside down. That's forcing you to look at things in a different way. It's just depicted a little bit differently on this Egyptian card. But like making a sacrifice, this is a card of patience. This is about letting go of something. So it might be your outlook on things. Maybe you're still hanging on to how you felt about last year. And that was in the past. Now you got to let it go. So it's a card indicating, Taurus, to observe your environment, your situation, whatever is going on right in front of you now from a different new perspective. It's also a card indicating there might be some blessings that have come out of what has happened before. So blessings out of some hardship. Now, this number 12, numerology on this card, is an indication. It reduces to three, so it's an indication of new beginnings, provided you are going to look at things in a different way. So, let's clarify the hangman card here. Let's see what we get. Okay. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Wow, this could be in regards to the work that you do. Looking at it in a different way. And that could possibly be... Like you could branch out, do something different. And with this being a card that kind of emphasizes new beginnings... There's something in regards to something that you do, that you master. So it could be the job that you do or a hobby, something that you enjoy that's going to go off in a new direction for you. Could have something to do with your other cards, good news coming in. 
things are working out the way you wanted in regards to maybe what you do for a living, your interest, your hobby, what you love to do. Now, your numerology here for your three cards is 21, which reduced to three. So here we have a repeat of what the hangman numerology is saying, new beginnings. If you let everything play out as it should. Okay. So last card is kind of an overall energy here for your tarot cards for the week. And you received the Fool. And I love that in this deck, the Companion, which happens to be a cat, which is highly regarded with the Egyptians, but this cat's really trying to grab the attention of this individual, not to prevent them from taking a new direction, but more in regards to being aware that you have options available to you. So be open to a new path. Be open to surprises, unexpected opportunities, because anything can happen if you just leave room for it. One of my favorite things with the Fool card is the numerology, zero. Zero is the absence of everything and therefore the potential for anything. So it's kind of a blank, the excuse me, blank slate, Taurus. <laughs> Get that out there. Uh, it's being laid at your feet. This is like releasing you from that cycle that you might have been caught up in. Because it is before the beginning and after the end. So there's something wanting to emerge with your cards, your energy, your numerology, a new direction for you. So you need to just be open to it. Might be something that's outside your comfort zone. Maybe something that you normally wouldn't do. But it's kind of all kicking off here with the Page of Wands coming in with some news and information. Now let's take a look at your crystal for the week. Seraphonite. Well, I don't see this crystal come up that often, but it is a crystal, an indication here that it's time for you to be honest with yourself, Taurus. Okay. This is about taking the time to identify changes that you need to make in your life so that you can feel fulfilled and happy. So it's really about what you want to do in your life, what you don't want to do in your life, and then making the changes. This is the perfect time of the year. An indication here to listen to your heart, Taurus. And a warning with this card about accepting other people's advice at this time as it is serving a purpose for them, not for you. So pay attention to what your inner voice tells you, your intuition. Seraphonite is a beautiful crystal to aid in angelic communication, so be paying attention this week to anything that you see or hear or sense or feel. Anything out of the ordinary is a key to which way to take or to go in. Now your last card here is an oracle card for direction, and you received slow and steady. Well, a very simplistic message with this card showing up. Slow and steady wins the race. So this is about going into something just very easily, just not rushing, not hurrying, just kind of a leisurely pace. And that could be your lifestyle. Just a more like leisurely pace, which is going to kind of like fall into place with how you want your lifestyle to be, Taurus. Slowing down, it gives you more opportunity to enjoy what's around you. And that could possibly be the new direction that the Fool card is indicating for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. For a private tarot card reading, the links are listed below. Love and abundance to my Taurus family.